sure you wear proper footwear. You'll be doing some considerable walking out in our farm fields, so comfortable walking shoes or boots are recommended. Also, it is hot in the summer here on the farm, so make sure you wear hats and sunscreen and you stay hydrated before, during, and after your UPIC experience. We will have drinks available for purchase here, but you are more than welcome to bring your own water from home. Also, important, make sure you bring your own bucket and cutting shears. If you do not bring your own, you will have to purchase shears in a bucket here on site. It's important to understand the proper way to cut sunflowers. Unlike some other flowers, including zinnias, sunflowers will continue to open their petals after being cut. We recommend cutting sunflowers at the semi-open stage. Here are some good examples. These sunflowers will continue to open at home and will give you more days of color. If you're looking for immediate color, go ahead and cut some fully open sunflowers and some semi-open so you can enjoy them longer. You're welcome to stay out in our patch and take photos and to just enjoy the beautiful flowers. We just ask that you stay inside the sunflower patch perimeter. This is a working farm, so tractors and other farm equipment are in use at all times. Please follow the walkways and the direction and signs from our staff for your safety and ours. We recommend that you shop our farm store and enjoy treats from our farm kitchen before you cut your flowers. Once you're in the field, take all your photos first and then at the very end, cut your flowers. Once cut, get them home quickly and put them in a cool place with fresh water. Time is of the essence when you cut your flowers for longevity and freshness. Okay, let's go pick some sunflowers. But first, let's put a little fresh water at the bottom of our empty bucket. Our field staff will assist you with this. Let's go. All of our sunflowers grow up and naturally face east towards the morning sun. These particular sunflowers do not move with the sun throughout the day. That means that they will continuously stay facing east. We highly recommend walking all the way to the far end of the field first. This will give you the most dynamic view of all the blooms in the field and it'll give you the best photos. It's an adventure, so don't be afraid to explore deep into the field. You want to look for those semi-open blossoms. Here's a good one. You want to leave your stems long, about 18 to 24 inches. You can always cut them shorter at home. You want to cut your stem at a 45 degree angle like this. Flowers tend to uptake water better at an angle versus a flat cut. After that, you cut off any leaves you don't want and leave them right here in the field. We always leave a couple along the top for accent. Once cut, immediately put them into your bucket of water Head back to the water station for more water for your ride home. Okay, let's head up. Once you get home, You'll want to transfer your flowers to a vase with clean water. Keep them away from windows and direct sunlight. Make it a habit daily to cut a fresh new cut and to change your water out. Doing these steps will give you the extra time to enjoy your beautiful flowers. We also have zinnias. If you choose to do zinnias during your visit, please note that it is a different field and has completely separate cutting instructions. If you are doing zinnias and sunflowers together, we recommend cutting your sunflowers first and then your zinnias second.